So many of you who have been following my channel for a while would know that I started off making microwave videos. So uh, that's sort of how I got started in YouTube and it sort of developed from there. But I thought what I'd do in this video is show you some of the PCB antennas that I started uh, with when I was developing antennas for use on the 2.4 and 3.4 gigahertz band, uh, as well as a couple of 1296 megahertz antennas as well. Now, I didn't have uh, many antennas. That's a quite a high frequency range, but I come across some PCB Yagi antennas and log periodics, which I thought I'd share with you today. <laughs> Now before I continue this video, I'd like to make mention of the sponsor of the video, that is PCB Way. PCB Way offer a variety of services for those interested in electronics and prototyping, including manufacturing of high quality printed circuit boards, PCB assembly services, surface mount design stencil, CNC and 3D printing. Now I myself, I've used uh, their PCBs and for my ham radio projects and their services before and they arrived just a few days after ordering so I can only highly recommend their fast, efficient and professional service. So I provided a link in the description below so check them out if you want to go and ahead and design your own PCB Yagi antennas. So the first one that I want to start off with now, I haven't used, particularly used this one before. I have, uh, I have swept the antenna before to see what the response is like in the SWR and all that sort of thing. These antennas come from WA5VJB and you can see here it's quite a large log periodic antenna and if I just, if I can get that to zoom in and focus, you can just see there that it is for the 850 to 6.5 gigahertz frequency range and you can see here how the, the PCB strips of the elements uh, are longer and they get shorter as they gradually go up the, the plane of the PCB. Uh, now this is a double-sided PCB as well and you can see that uh, the the SMA here is uh, located on the or well, the front of the front of the PCB and there's a a uh, it's soldered on the back here through a through hole through hole solderable connection and then I guess this is the driven element or yeah this is the driven element that runs down the plane of the the PCB and then the opposite on the other side so that's quite a large uh, log periodic antenna now I didn't uh, I haven't used this one particularly I just got it as part of the package that I got when I got a pile of these antennas but it's an interesting one anyway that um, this antenna would be a good one to try on 1.2 gigahertz and see how it performs but I'll have to try that out but it sort of gives you a bit of an idea and there's all sorts of programs on the internet that you can work out to to figure out what dimensions you need uh, to build one of those but of course as I said you can buy them these are from VA5 a VJB. He also makes these smaller version PCBs, which these are a lot tinier. Now these log, they, again, this is a log periodic antenna, and this is the frequency range is two gigahertz to eleven gigahertz. So that covers quite a few amateur bands. It covers the two point four gigahertz band, the three point four gigahertz band, five point eight gigs, and ten gigs. Now I'm not exactly sure how these operate on. Uh, 10 gigs or 5.8 gigs, but I have used them on 2.4 and 3.4. And in fact, I've got a video on my channel and I'll show an overlay uh, of that. Bit of a different antenna here too. This is uh, the WA5 VJB um, log periodic uh, antenna that's just uh, popped in the end of a bit of PVC. What uh, that's doing is acting as um, the feed for uh, 3.4 gigs. Um, now, the only thing is, is that these, because of the size of the PCB, these are power limited. So I ran, I think, about 20 watts at 3.4 gigahertz through this. And on single sideband, it works fine. You can, uh, because of the, the duration of the transmissions is fairly low, you can, you can run single sideband through these. However... Um, when you start to run FM or you start to run data through these, that's when they start to get very hot. And um, I don't think I've got one. Yes, I do. If you actually have a look at the back there, you could see a burn mark. I don't think that camera is going to focus. But anyway, you can see the the burn mark just there, which is on one of the traces of the of the antenna. So now uh, these ones don't come with an SMA connector. So I've just got a short tail of... Um, of semi-rigid cable and that just solders down the the plane so you can see there there's a, a, a solderable um, track that you can solder to 
So I've kind of got the focus there now. So you could see there that there's just a little blob of solder on a through hole. And if I flip over there, it's just soldered on both sides. So that's how that uh, PCB antenna goes together. So they're the VA5 VJB antennas. Um, now some other interesting uh, antennas that I've got. So they're log periodic antennas, but I've also got some PCB Yagi's. Now when I bought my SG Labs transverters, and I've got some more videos on that on my channel too, so check out the SG Labs transverter videos. Um, I got these PCB Yagi's that come standard with the um, with the transverters. Now this is a 1.2 gigahertz two element Yagi. Um, it's just a simple PCB. You can see there it's just uh, I think I'm not quite sure what sort of feed that is. Anyway, there's a uh, there's a two element Yagi, and then you the idea is you just screw this into the transverter and point your transverter where you want. So effective little two element, two element Yagi. Um, then the next one that I got was a a uh, two point four gigahertz Yagi, and you can see here that's a I think that's a four element uh, now. So same sort of similar sort of match. I'm sure that you can Google all these. These are just you know normal PCBs that you could make up, and uh, and then you can experiment with these. And then here we have a 3.4 gigahertz. What's this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's a six or seven, seven element. I think it's a seven element. 3.4 gigahertz PCB Yagi antenna. So, um, yeah, effective little antennas. I've experimented a little bit with these, but I do have some larger um, antennas now. But definitely when I use these antennas as the, the feed in a... Um, in a dish dish feed all i basically did was i got an old um, satellite tv dish which was a uh, an offset dish which works on about i think it was the 12 gigahertz band the ku band satellite band and i just basically replaced the um the lmb feed and i just replaced it with one of these and it worked pretty well actually so um, that's basically all I've got for you in this video today. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. 73 for now.